Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a linear switch from Otemu. This is a newer linear switch that was sent over to me by KP Republic. They sent me a small batch of several switches to do quick reviews on and see if there was any of these that interested me in order to do more long... Uh, to do... to see if any of these interested me enough to do a longer form review on it. So this is a linear switch from Otemu. Um, they do not list the materials, but let me see if I can find something. All right, so this is a linear switch from Otemu. It does have a 45 gram actuation force with a 65 gram bottom out force, though I must admit it doesn't feel any heavier than say 50 or 55 grams. Um, it is made of a top polycarbonate housing, a pink palm stem, and a ni nylon golden yellow bottom housing. Now, they do list them as factory lubed and they sound almost uh, lubed because there is the tattest amount of spring ping in there. But let's go ahead and take a look in here. Now, I am re reading the specs from another site as um, KP Republic only lists the uh, the weight and force of the spring, so maybe the version they have is not pre-lubricated, as I do not seem to see any lubrication or feel anything. It feels bone dry, so I do believe these are just the unlubed version of this switch. Now we have a nice rounded out bottom to that stem, so this is not a long pull stem. This is going to be just really your standard linear switch. Um, does have wing latch style. And the slight ping that it does have is very minimal. I've loaded some of these up on a modded Gas 67. The rest of these switches are Akko uh, Vintage White. And these are stock. I have not lubed them. So here to give you an idea of what it sounds like on the board. These are the Akos. Now here I've gone ahead, D, F, and G are loaded up with the Otemu Golden Pink. So I like the bottom down on this. It has a deeper tone, but then there's a, a plasticky aftertone that comes on the upstroke. Though the tone seems to be slightly deeper with these gold and pink Otemus, I think that that plasticky tone kind of overpowers it to a certain degree. I'm not sure, but they're interesting enough. And I'm not usually a fan of long pull, but I may request an entire batch of these to give a full board load and see what they really sound like especially after I lube them. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick review of the golden pink linear from Otemu. Now these were sent over to me by KP Republic and are available there uh, for roughly a quarter a piece, I believe, or 24 cents a piece. Um, if you guys have any questions about this switch or any of the other switches I've been reviewing, please feel free to leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to answer it to the best of my ability. 
Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.